What's up, everybody? It's Craig the Shut Up Dad from Collins Club, and I'm going to read to you. Yes, I said read to you, just like when you were in kindergarten, you sat in a circle in front of your teacher. I'm going to read to you the Tom Clancy Ghost Recon Wildlands update version 1.04. And why I'm going to do that, and why do we do that on this channel? Because when there's an update, like this morning, I researched the internet looking for some information on this update, and a lot of people, to get the video out there quick, just put a vague video a minute or two long about it. Well, I'm going to go more into depth, go to Ubisoft website, and I'm going to read to you what they put out there. And it's a pretty big one, all right? So the biggest changes include the ability to turn radios off, and you can also pick what vehicle you want to drop right there by hitting your D-pad. Um, Ubisoft also said that continue playing co-op, you and your friends will need to be running the same version of the game. This patch is about a 3 gigabyte size on console and about a 5 gigabyte size on PC. The first patch fixed a load of bugs, and so does this one. So let's get into the missions and narration fixes that they did. So they received reports that some players are having issues with certain missions, and they investigated it, and they implemented fixes so they can now have a smoother experience. They also fixed an XP farming exploit related to the Rebellion Rising mission, which created interference with the co-op experience. They adjusted various missions, markers, and GPS pathfinding. The following missions are now unlocked correctly for players who reported issues. Gold Rush, Sueno's Proposition, Sandoval Dead Body, and El Cerebro. They adjusted various mission triggers in order to smoothen the player's progress and game experience. They fixed situations where dialogue and barks would not trigger correctly. And they also fixed the following missions because they're now replayable. El Cerebro, Boss Missions, Sandoval Confession, Western Cocaine Cache. And... They fixed infinite XP farming exploit on Rebellion Rising mission. And also, NPCs now exit the vehicle properly and stop the convoy missions. Now, these are fixes under user interface. They implemented various fixes and tweaks related to trophy and weapon packs unlocking. They also fixed an issue related to the character model not being positioned correctly. On top of that, players who love to play with the HUD completely hidden will now be able to select the type of intel they want to collect when they interact with files or NPCs. Players can now select what intel they want to collect even with all the HUD options turned off. Trophy requirements and adjustments. The champion, eagle-eyed, and with a pistol. They fix some weapon packs not unlocking properly like under barrels and rail packs. They also fix character hiding behind menus in certain situations and HUD now updates when XP boosters are activated. Here's a list of fixes under co-op. They detected some replication issues during cooperative sessions between players. The patch should provide a more consistent experience between ghosts sharing the same game session. They corrected various replication issues such as paint jobs and attachments not showing correctly in the lobby, rebel radio explosions not synchronizing, Sniper scope glare effect not synchronizing. Player seen running beside VHC slash bike they should be sitting in. Suppressor not synchronizing when removed from a vehicle shooting position. Burning corpses from systematic events. Explosions not replicating if the distance is too high. The following achievement should now be awarded to all the players in the two missions below. A better mousetrap and the cluster bomb. They fixed a bug where hits would register with a 0.5 second lag. They fixed kick slash ban vote notifications. And they also fixed game freezes in four player sessions. These are fixes under connectivity. They detected and fixed some issues that were causing some players disconnections. They also said the experience should be more solid after this patch. They fixed various disconnection bugs. They fixed a bug where the user could not reconnect to a previous session and they fixed errors when looking for public sessions. Here's a list of fixes under gameplay. They added fixes and improvements for gameplay related issues and requests that some players reported. Players can now select the vehicle they want to spawn when using the drop vehicle rebel skill. They fixed XP awarded when killing an enemy undetected. They fixed a bug where sometimes vehicle seats would stay booked or I guess hooked after NPC exiting. <laughs> they fixed a bug where the player would take cover too far from certain props. Players can no longer teleport to safe houses while being hunted. The medical helicopter 
will now spawn correctly in Tobacco Area side mission. Fixed bikes not slowing down in the water. Fixed flash grenades not stopping detection. Fixed an occasional instant game over when falling off a dirt bike. Fixed a bug where sometimes the player could not tag enemies after hot joining. They adjusted damage caused by explosion and arcade difficulty. They fixed an issue where sometimes pilots didn't die after AI helicopter crash. And they fixed a situation where sometimes vehicles disappeared when driving at high speeds. <laughs> These are the fixes under audio. They implemented some fixes and improvements related to some audio aspects of the game, as well as the option to mute radios for those players who requested it. They added a feature allowing the player to mute every radio in the game. So as you know, I would run around playing a game within a game, and every boom box I would see, I would have to shoot it to shut it up. <laughs> so that's good. They fixed car radio not functioning in various situations. They amplified the radio voice effects to avoid player confusing El Sueño's voice on the radio and the one of the ghosts. And the introduction video mix is enhanced. Here's a list of fixes under graphics. They focused on fixing various issues in order to provide a more solid experience for stability and performance improvements. Here we go. They fixed player models appearing with twisted limbs if they were killed in certain positions, which hey, sometimes when you get killed, I guess your body's not intact or it's mangled anyways, but that's okay. They fixed low resolution textures appearing while aiming and driving. They fixed camera clipping through some textures and props. They fixed missing textures in certain environments. They also fixed drone showing blur effect on objects, and they fixed the textures flickering when using parachute or helicopter. Now this is under stability. They fixed various crashes, and they fixed an occasional infinite loading screen after validating settings at first launch. Now these are PC specific improvements. They fixed various world building glitches, they fixed some world parts where the player could get stuck. And under graphics, they added the SMAA anti-aliasing mode, added a notification for the anti-aliasing recommendations in multi-GPU setups. They addressed a series of issues causing flickering in multi-GPU setups. And they fixed an issue with HUD scaling in four monitor multi-display setups. Also under PC, the user experience and interface fixes. They added support to bind home, end, insert, delete, page up and page down keys. They added several menu navigation improvements with mouse and keyboard. They added a notification if the video driver is outdated. They added a notification when the system is low on free RAM and starts writing to the virtual memory. They fixed a HUD issue in co-op for users who have already completed the selected mission. And they fixed the patch icon display when using mouse to steer helicopters. Now under co-op for PC, they fixed an issue with co-op sharing of systematic activities. They also fixed the use of push to talk in the co-op lobby. Under controls for PC, they changed the enable controller default option to only game pads. They addressed a number of issues with the Steam controller icons and functionality. And for performance for, performance for PC, they addressed a series of random crashes encountered by users. They fixed an issue causing frame rate drops when the saving icon was being displayed. They also fixed an issue where the menu was lagging while running the game on hard drive or hard disk drive. And they solved an issue with VRAM bar update when lowering resolution scaling. Miscellaneous PC fixes. They fixed a bug on the medication air transport mission in Tobacco. They fixed an issue with character poses in Ansel and solved a controls issue where one couldn't sprint from crouch or prone position. So there you have it, folks. That's it. This is Craig from Collins Club. Shut up, Dad. And those are your fixes on console and PC. Hopefully this game keeps doing stuff like this. Like I said, I love the game. Being ex-military and infantry grunt, this game is awesome. Um, it is lacking, of course, some multiplayer, which they said is also going to be released which it looks like 4v4. I don't know when. I'll be up on that when it happens. I'll let you know. But thank you all very much 
for listening to me read you the update version 1.04 for Tom Clancy Ghost Recons. Check our channel out. We don't just stream video games. We do vlogs. We open tons of Pokemon packs. And uh, we just have a blast. That's it, folks. Thank you very much. Have a great week. And keep on shooting.